James is involved in theater, track, speech and debate, and all of the He served as captain of the speech and debate team and played a lead in every drama produ production at Charter this year. From the witch hunt of The Crucible to the musical comedy of Once Upon a Mattress, it's quite a range. We all know of his sense of humor and his talent, but there's a rumor that he sings like an angel. Yep. <laughs> and he does a mean, a mean interpretation of the giving tree. <laughs> I don't know whether we'll get any of those tonight. But we don't want it. It gives me a great pleasure to introduce you to our guest, our elected speaker, Mr. Garrett Gaines. <laughs> I'd like to first thank everyone again for being here and showing their support. I'm honored that my fellow classmates chose me to speak on their behalf, but I'll try to keep this short and avoid repetition. So I'll try to avoid being repetitive and keep it short. So, <laughs> Off to a good start. College and the rest of our lives is a scary idea. How are we supposed to make a decision like that? I don't even decide what I wear to school. Just put on a pair of khakis and a polo every morning for the last four years. My biggest decision is red or green. <laughs> but that being said, um, we can know that we'll be prepared for our future, whatever it may be. We've learned a lot in high school. Our teachers have forced fed us knowledge until we're ready to explode. But I'm not going to only talk about the things we learned through, through tests or homework. Because if we only talk about the things we're supposed to learn, most of us didn't learn that much. <laughs> According to my grades, I learned like 80% of what I was supposed to learn. <laughs> Where did the other 20% go? I don't know. <laughs> but the point is, we've learned a lot. And not, uh, not just things in the classroom. Um, so we've learned a lot of life lessons along the way. Like how to tie our shoes and how to not eat light bulbs. <laughs> For whatever reason, those two particular lessons took me many years and multiple trips to the ER to learn. <laughs> So I'm going to walk you through a typical day at Charter to show you some of the many lessons that we learn every day. It's 7.30 a.m. You roll up into the school. You got your tight polo and tight khakis and fly, ready for the day. Then a couple of girls laugh. Lesson one, uh, why clothes at pit? <laughs> so you keep walking and now you hear some girl going, hey Garrett, you're looking great today. Then you gotta turn around like, Mom, what are you doing here? <laughs> it creeps people out when you stand in the hallways. Please go home. <laughs> Lesson two, drive yourself to school. <laughs> so you sit down, pull out your textbooks, build like a Himalayan mountains range. Those are some seriously heavy books. Like, I have permanent back damage. When my friends and I go out on the town, we look like a bunch of camel impersonators. We're like, hunchbacks, Mr. Quasimodo up in the city. People come up to me like, oh, you poor boy, do you have scoliosis? No, just an algebra book and a lot of history homework. Lesson three, invest in a heavy-duty backpack and also a good chiropractor. Now it's time for lunch, and the kid, kid sitting next to you just microwave a hard-boiled egg. <laughs> lesson four, pack better lunches. And lesson five, make friends with people who don't microwave hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> They're like twisted Easter haters or something. <laughs> You're in your last class of the day, and the teacher is asking you for the religious symbolism and its cultural framework in Zen, the art of motorcycle maintenance. Oh, God. Also, some kid in the back keeps saying, ho oh, oh, but what is quality? <laughs> Lesson six, when someone says quality, just let it go. You don't need to say what is quality every time. It's, it's not that funny or that difficult of a concept. <laughs> now I have to head home. Then you hear, um, Gary, do you have a date to the dance yet? And you gotta turn around like, Mom, what are you still doing here? <laughs> have you been at my locker all day? Just go home. And she'll respond with something like, Oh, uh, I was just curious as to how your day went. Love you so much. Uh, did you do anything interesting? Lesson six. Oh, when lesson seven. Learn to count. No. <laughs> lesson, lesson seven. This lesson is very easy and learned very quickly. The correct answer to your mother's question is always nothing. 
without exception. <laughs> because if you say anything else, the conversation is going to rapidly go into a terribly awkward spiral. <laughs> For instance, if you say, it was a pretty swell day, mother, we just went out with some friends and learned the importance of friendship. <laughs> She'll respond with, you're going out with somebody? <laughs> Next thing you know, she's changing your Facebook profile for you and sending texts to all your friends to let them know that you are now engaged. <laughs> or if you say something like, oh, I didn't learn that much today, literature is just so difficult, she will immediately call your teacher and ask why they were picking on you at school. <laughs> then your teacher is going to apologize to you and send an email to all the other teachers to let you know how insecure you are. <laughs> then you get to learn the important lesson of how to deal with teachers who think you have anxiety issues. <laughs> You're finally home, and you pull out your mountains of homework. Lesson eight, invest in a good lighter. No, I'm just kidding, do your homework. <laughs> Lesson nine, learn how to do four hours of homework in 20 minutes. <laughs> you finally lay down, and you hear things echoing in your head like, Mr. James, is that uniform? <laughs> you gotta look around like, Mom, is that you? <laughs> nope, it's just you actually going crazy. Lesson 10, learn to love being just a little bit crazy. Well, there's your typical day. Do that for about four years and you have an idea of what we learned at our time at Charter. I don't know where I'm gonna be in the next few years and that's a little scary. Let's just say that I've been collecting large boxes to live in just in case things go wrong. <laughs> but even if I do end up in a tough situation, I can be sure of a couple of things. One, I will never again receive a uniform violation. <laughs> and two, the lessons that we learn together here at Charter will prepare us for whatever we do with the rest of our lives. Thank you. And mom, I love you. <laughs>